What's up guys, God's Lee back with another video. In this video we're doing our weekly reset. We're up here on the mountain. We're gonna see Ephrodite right here real quick. Check her out. She has for you this week legs, helmets, the sniper rifle, and the hand cannon. You can get all these things right here by reaching different ranks. Let's check out the old stuff we gotta get this week to get some of this awesome gear and weaponry. The first bounty is Iron Marathon. You gotta earn 100 points, 15 for a win, and five for a match completion. And so it, depending on how good you are, it'll take a little while or it might not take a little while. Uh, this one, you've got to earn 100 points with ability kills at the Iron Banner. And so basically, grenade equals two, melee three, super five. So you get all the super kills you can. These will actually go really quick. The next one is Iron Arsenal. You have to get 100 points, one for primary, two for special, and five for heavy. Uh, this one might take a little while uh, just because most of your stuff's going to be primary, especially now. Um, but uh, some people out there are actually doing better with special now than they were before the update, so you might actually get it faster, who knows. Uh, Iron Support is the final one, and basically this one you have to get 100 points again, but you have to get assist kills, avenge kills, and defend kills. Or, or sorry, uh, assist kills, avenge kills, and allies defended. Um, so those are all pretty quick and easy to get through. Real quick, let's zoom on over to the tower and we'll check everybody out. Here's Zavala, he's got our weekly strike bounties that we can check out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. But <clears throat> this week he has Strike Elite, which means you have to get three gold tier achieve medals from three strikes and you'll get all nine points. Or you can get, you know, a couple silver tier, gold tier, a couple bronze. It depends on how you want to do it. But if you get three gold tier in a row, you'll get all nine of your points. Sunrise Bounty, which means that you have to get the Nightfall completed and earn gold tier before time expires, which is 30 minutes. And if you don't have gold tier by then, when the time, when you do it before the time is up, it'll give you about 20,000 points, so don't worry. And then lastly, Merciless, meaning you have to get nine enemy kills, uh, nine rapid enemy kills to earn Rampage medals and see if a crisis strikes. So you gotta get primary, secondaries, and one heavy. Moving on from that, let's go check out Mr. Uh, oh, I almost said Zavala again, Mr. Shax. Hopefully he'll have supremacy this week since that's what iron banner is hunt for glory and boom look at that it's supremacy so basically this week while you're doing your uh, uh, iron banner you can also finish out Shaq's bounties if you have them uh, you have to complete seven matches you don't have to win you have to get 50 primary kills get 30 kill credits which means those are the little red orbs that you get from killing people and you have to deny 20 of them so you have to collect 20 of the blue ones from your dead teammates once you do that, you'll be able to open up his little package and get some cool gear from him as well. Now let's go check out the factions. We'll start with New Monarchy and see what uh, stuff you can give them for reputation. Then we'll move up and talk about the activities for the week. For the sake of time, I'm going to dispense with the weapons and kind of just looking at them. Uh, we're just going to look at what they're accepting this week. So this week he's accepting Spin Metal. So if you want to give some Spin Metal to, uh, uh, what is his name, Executor Hideo, you can give some to him, get some reputation. We'll move over to Future War Cult and Dead Orbit. That way we can kind of keep things a little shorter this week and knock it out so we can get this video out to you and uh, start playing some Iron Banner and some Horizon Zero Dawn. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Dead Orbit has Spin Metal as well. So Spin Metal for both New Monarchy and Dead Orbit. We'll head up here real quick to Future War Cult and see what she's got. Let's see, she has for hers this week, also spin metal. So if you have extra spin metal lying around, you wanna turn in for some reputation, I'd say pick one, cause you're probably not gonna have enough to get all of them upgraded. Uh, but at least you've got one you can still use. So if you got some extra spin metal, I don't really have a lot. Uh, you can go turn it in for some reputation. Let's head out to orbit so we can talk about the nightfalls and everything else. All right, we're back. Here for the Nightfall this week, <clears throat> we have Fallen Saber, so you're going to have to fight that big old shank, and I'll have the uh, guide out for that tomorrow morning if you want to check it out. This week we got fresh troops, so there's going to be more enemies in different sections. Chafe, so no player radar, so you're going to have to look around, make sure you know where everybody's at. Grounded, meaning when he shoots you in the air at the very end, if you're in the air, you're going to die. No ifs, ands, or buts. And then watch out if you're jumping around about enemy, other enemies, they'll uh, they'll get you, especially the exploding shanks. They'll probably do a ton of extra damage when you jump in the air. 
a brawler, you're going to have increased melee damage. So, uh, you know, if somebody gets close to you, you might be able to vaporize them before they kill you. And then Epic is always more shielded, aggressive enemies that appear in greater numbers. Next, we have the Siva Crisis Heroic playlist, which has heroic, which just means there's more enemies and they're more aggressive. Void burn, so get your favorite void weapons out to kill everybody, but it also means that people with void uh, weapons are going to do more damage to you. Brawler, meaning your melees have more damage. And then Ironclad, which I don't remember what that is. Uh, oh, there's more enemies with shields. Uh, so watch out for the extra shields. Uh, this week, as we have already talked about, Iron Banner Supremacy is our weekly Crucible event. So if you want to play that, you can get some awesome bounties in to get some gear, and you can also get a Radiant Treasure. And then don't forget, you can also get a Treasure of the Dawning from completing a Save a Crisis Heroic Strike as well. For the raids this week, uh, in King's Fall, you have the War Priest Challenge. For Wrath of the Machine, you have Axis Challenge, which who does that anymore? I sure don't. <laughs> uh, and then if you're still doing Challenge of Elders this week, it is Super Kill Bonus. That's pretty much all the stuff for this week, guys. Uh, just uh, I, I meant to get up this morning at like 4, but I woke up at 6, so it didn't work out. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps me out. Uh, comment below. Let me know what's your favorite thing this week. I'm hoping it'll be Iron Banner because it's definitely going to be mine. I might try to get on one night and play with some of y'all if I get a chance. Um, subscribe for more Destiny content. It really helps me out, too, when you subscribe. That way I can get my content out to you a lot easier. Follow me on Twitter at I Am God's Elite if you want to know what's up with the channel and my life. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, stay tuned for some Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm going to have a Destiny video coming up every morning. Uh, and a Horizon Zero Dawn video coming up for you each night. And so the Horizon videos will be about 20, 30 minutes so you can get some good gameplay in. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you in the next one.